it took them 10 years to find the right lead singer. Do you think Arnel Pinedo was a good choice? You were living and working in the Philippines when you get this call. Come be in our band. Did you think you were dreaming? One of the weirdest moments of my life, you know. See, guitar God calling me and <laughs> asking me to audition for them, you know. And why did, you, why did you like him? Why did you choose him? You know, uh, his pipes spoke for himself. I mean, really, I heard through the little computer speaker, I, I heard his voice and I went, wow. That guy's got a serious voice. And we listened, I've listened to 40 other clips of him singing everything. And I was like, man, he's got it going on. I have to say, you, you do sound a lot like Steve Perry. Do you mind the comparison? Oh, I don't mind. I don't mind at all. He's my, you know, he's my hero. He's one of my, he's one of my influence, you know. Oh my. <laughs> It would be an honor to be, you know, in line with him. Well, you're in a league of your own, though, I have to say. Thank you, thank you. And I, I want to ask, I want to ask you, Jonathan, looking out over this crowd, you have some of the fans you've always had, but you have a whole new generation of fans, too. What's that like? It's great. Uh, this is truly, uh, you know, a sort of a phenomenon that started back in 98. And uh, I think this song, Don't Stop Believing, uh, has brought many young people to us, uh, and we're... We're happy to see you all here. Don't stop believing, kids.